Hey there, laugh your way to bliss, subscribe for uproarious jokes and endless hilarity. A dirty joke told by 75-year-old grandpa to the whole family by memory. A male whale and a female whale were swimming off the coast of Japan when they noticed a whaling ship. The male whale recognized it as the same ship that had harpooned his father many years earlier. He said to the female whale, let's both swim under the ship and blow out of our air holes at the same time, and it should cause the ship to turn over and sink. They tried it, and sure enough, the ship turned over and quickly sank. Soon, however, the whales realized the sailors had jumped overboard and were swimming to the safety of the shore. The male was enraged that they were going to get away and told the female, let's swim after them and gobble them up before they reach the shore. At this point, he realized the woman was becoming reluctant to follow him. Look, she said, I went along with the blowjob, but I absolutely refused to swallow the semen. I need a few brief jokes to tell to a group of elderly people. The punchlines need to be easily understood, and they need to be clean and not making fun of anyone with any kind of disability. Have any brief and fairly original jokes? This one is good. Around the beginning of the 20th century, a society lady runs into the employment office one day and demands a maid, right now. It seems she's having a dinner party that night, and her maid quit. The guy in the agency explains that all the girls he has right now have just gotten off the boat from Ireland. They're untrained. The lady says she'll train the girl but needs someone right away. The agency man asks for volunteers and Molly comes forward. She agrees to go and be trained. Well, the dinner party comes and goes and, although some of the guests seem to disappear now and then, everything works out just fine. Molly does a great job. The next morning, the lady's walking down the upstairs hall and sees Molly in one of the guest rooms. Looks like she's making the bed but she's just standing there. Curious, the woman walks in and looks over Molly's shoulder. There on the bed lies a condom. The lady turns bright red and tries to laugh it off. Why Molly? She says. Surely you have those in Ireland, don't you? Molly swallows nervously and says. Surely we do madam, but we don't skin am.